Amber, look at me. Everything is okay. You will be fine. This is just so heartbreaking. I do because I'm sick too. What? What do you mean you're sick? I thought you were okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. It's nice to see you again, and I hope everything is well. It's me, Jack, and as usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a real life story video. Today's real life story video is about a woman who had a serious kidney problem and how she was saved from the problem. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is means. Next are chances are and bump in the road. We will continue with get something out of the way and generous. The final one is prior to something. Okay, let's watch the video. Hey. Hey, you all right? Oh yeah, please don't worry about me. You're my friend. I'm going to worry about you. I know, but I'm fine. Okay, all right. I'm here for you. Let me know what you need, all right? Okay. Here, we're doing wonderful things. I'm so proud to be a part of this with you. You're a wonderful person. You know, everybody needs somebody. I have the means to help others, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm so glad you're my friend. Give me some love, baby. Oh, you're so sweet. Where are we taking these today? Well, we're going to go to the safe zone first, and then Riley's support. Have you spoken to your doctor about how you're feeling? Yeah, they just did some lab work. I'm waiting on them to give me a call back. Is everything okay, Marsh? Yeah, it'll fine be. Speaking of my doctor, he calling me right now. He wants me to come in so that he can talk to me. Do you want me to go with you? I would love that. Okay, let's go. Okay. Don't bother yourself. No matter what the doctor says, you will be fine. Hey, ladies. How are you, Amber? Good afternoon. Hello. Well, Amber, thank you for coming in on such short notice. I know you're normally busy with donations. My health is important, so I have to know what's going on. Uh, of course, so we have your results. And? So, it looks like you have chronic kidney disease. Have you been seeing blood in your urine? Do you feel short of breath? No, I mean, I've been having a little pain here and there, but nothing serious like that. So I'm not going to lie to you. It's very serious and you'll need a kidney replacement. What? Why? Do you smoke or have any blood pressure issues? No, none of that. I've done everything right. Well, we'll get that checked out. But for right now, we have to start looking into donors. Oh my god. Well, don't get discouraged. We just want to do what's best for you right now, and that's getting you a better kidney. Why me? I've done everything in my life that I'm supposed to. I'm helpful to people I don't understand. Amber, sometimes there are just certain things you can't control. And sometimes... The worst things happen to the best of us. It's okay, everything will be fine. I'm going to step outside to talk to a colleague to see if we have something available, okay? Amber, look at me. Everything is okay. You will be fine. This is just so heartbreaking. I do because I'm sick too. What? What do you mean you're sick? I thought you were okay. I'm not, but soon I will be okay. So I'm telling you, this little bump in the road is nothing. You stay strong, you'll have the surgery, and you'll continue to live your life for the people that need you. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know you were sick. Enough about me. At this moment, right here, right now, this is about you. I want to sit this out with you the whole entire way. Okay, I love you, Lisa. I love you so much. Okay, so it seems like chances are we are very low on donors right now. And the doctor said that we might have more donors within a week or two. What? What do I do until then? 
Well, you can continue your day to day life and just pray for a donor, okay? Okay, thank you, doctor. Duh, all right, so you're free to go. And once we have something available, we'll call you and schedule an appointment, okay? Are you coming? Yeah, I have to speak with the doctor really quickly. Okay, I'll be outside. So what do you, what do you want to talk about? Good morning, Amber. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. What am I doing here? So it looks like we'll be doing your surgery much sooner than we had expected. Why is that? Is something wrong? No, it's actually a good thing. We can just go ahead and get it out of the way. But I thought you said it would take two or three weeks to get a donor. Well, things happen and we got a generous donor specifically gifted to you. I don't understand. From who? Let's focus on your surgery. We're going to do your surgery and save your kidney. Just be grateful for this, okay? Okay. So when am I going to get the surgery? In two days. Prior to that, you should move into your room this afternoon so that we can make all the necessary preparations and do the test for the surgery. Okay. In that case, I'll see you this afternoon. Come on, Lisa, answer. I'll leave a voicemail. Hey, relax. Are you okay? Can you give me painkillers? I'm in a lot of pain. Of course. Let me get you some water. I'll be right back, okay? Thank you. You don't have to do anything, okay? I got you. The doctor said the surgery went well. Well, I'm still in quite a bit of pain. Okay, well, I'll be here until next month, so if you need anything, I'll be here for you. Don't you have to work? You always worry about others. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. If you need me, I'll be here to help you. Do you know where Lisa is? Did she come here? I do have something to show you. Before this, I want you to know that you are loved. I want you to understand that there are some things that you just cannot control. And this is a blessing. What is this? Hi, Amber. If you're watching this, then your surgery was a success. I don't want you to be upset with me, but I didn't want to tell you because I knew you would try to stop me. I decided to give you my kidney because I knew I wouldn't need it any longer. I knew I would soon die. And when I heard you needed a kidney, I didn't hesitate to donate mine to you. Don't cry for me. There's nothing that could have been done for me. I was dying whether I wanted to or not. I am so happy for you. I love you always, my good friend, and I am happy for you. Oh, my dear friend, why did you that? I have the means to help others, so that's what I'm going to do. Means. It means a method or way of doing something. The examples. He used various means to persuade me to join him. She has no means of communication in the desert. Okay, so it seems like chances are we are very low on donors right now. Chances are. It means it's likely or probable that something will happen. The examples. Chances are he won't show up on time. If you study hard, chances are you will pass the exam. I'm not, but soon I will be okay. So I'm telling you, this little bump in the road is nothing. Bump in the road. It means something, usually not very serious, that delays a process or prevents it from developing. The examples? Don't worry. This setback is just a bump in the road. We'll overcome it soon. She had a few bumps in the road during her career, but she never gave up. No, it's actually a good thing. We can just go ahead and get it out of the way. Get something out of the way. It means to complete a task or duty as soon as possible and not worry about it later. The examples? 
I like to get my homework out of the way on Friday nights so that I can enjoy the weekend. Let's get this meeting out of the way, and then we can have lunch. Well, things happen, and we got a generous donor specifically gifted to you. Generous? It means willing to give or share more than is necessary or expected. The examples. He was very generous with his time and helped me with my homework. She made a generous donation to the charity. In two days. Prior to that, you should move into your room this afternoon so that we can make all the necessary preparations. Prior to something. It means before a particular time or event. The examples. You must submit your application prior to the deadline. He had no prior experience in this field. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson for today. I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. If you like today's video, hit the like button. And if you want to continue to learn English on our channel, please subscribe. And then hit the bell for notifications. We always like to read your comments. See you in the next lesson.